Elliot from It's One Humanity. I'm currently in New Haven, Connecticut, USA for the Unite for Sight uh, Global Health and Innovation Conference. So we came, came here to promote It's One Humanity, promote the Humanitarian Social Network. And basically our argument coming here and talking to all of these NGOs and all of these uh, humanitarians basically is that um, the NGO and the nonprofit sector has been very, very successful in the past five to ten years at using the power of a human story and we hear about it so much. Coming here, you know, going to workshops about uh, cause marketing and things like that, they do recognize the power of a human story and that's great. But we're saying uh, they're missing 50% of it because they're only talking about the receiving end. So instead of talking about statistics and you know, saying that that many million children in, in whatever African country are suffering from whatever disease, they'll say, here's. Uh, you know, here's Mary, she's 12 years old and this is her life and that's great because it allows people to connect to that story. But we're saying that they're missing 50% of it, that's the giving end of aid. So they're forgetting to talk about the people who are running those NGOs, who are running those programs. And uh, failing to do that is preventing, preventing them from establishing this human contact that is so necessary to ensure transparency and enhance accountability in the, in the sector. So uh, that's what we're, we're talking about the humanitarian social network, telling them that they can create their own humanitarian profiles under their own personal name and start posting daily about their, their own activities for these organizations. So as to put human faces to organizations and programs and make people realize that humanitarianism and social work is absolutely accessible. You don't need to be Bono or Bill Gates to make a difference. Uh, most of these people are just human beings just like you and me and they're very uh, ex accessible people and these people need to start uh, you know, putting their, their stories under the spotlight and I feel that these people are the, probably the best agents of, of change and education for these issues because they champion them and because they champion the causes because they work at making the world a better place every day. These people need to be heard. So um, that's what we're trying to do. Put human faces to organizations and programs so as to foster greater transparency and accountability in the sector. So I'm here uh, for the weekend talking about IOH, promoting the Humanitarian Social Network. So that's it representing It's One Humanity, um, and obviously I'm wearing those uh, cool t-shirts that we launched just a few weeks ago at the, the IOH store, uh, which have been very popular in terms of great tools to attract attention, really. Uh, you know, having this arrow point in my face saying I'm a humanitarian. What I'm saying is that everybody can and should become humanitarian if we, if we want to see the change we want to see in the world. So yeah, I'm sporting slogans like this one. Find me on itsonehumanity.org and I'm encouraging people to to start thinking about featuring our people and creating humanitarian profiles and actively posting. Again, the key, transparency and accountability, that's what we're working for. So we think uh, NGOs and nonprofit sector could really benefit from this. And it's free. So that's it. Um, Elliot for It's One Humanity at Yale University in New Haven, USA. It's a pleasure to be here and thank you so much for the support and let's together keep on growing this humanitarian social network.